Okay, so uh, I am pretty much done out here wrapping up all the grading and stuff. It's going to rain again tomorrow all day, and I'm pushing. It's almost like 8 o'clock. I don't know. Let's see what time is it? Yeah, 7. And uh, anyway, so I pretty much got everything wrapped up out here as far as the grading and stuff is concerned. You can see this whole area, this whole site. Got it all pretty much ready to go. It's like 17 acres. So, so anyway, the framers are getting ahead of the pack. You can see I was able to deal with my problem with the skid steer and everything and um, so I'm getting ready to wrap this one up I might need to come back and do some backfill that kind of thing but outside of that that's it let's take a look at these controls here a little bit okay this one here is the blade shift this is the side shift for the entire blade Okay, this one here as you're up and down for the right. This one here is up and down for the left. Here's your tilt wheel right there. This is for the uh, the rear end, the ass end of it. You can see there. So you just twist it like this. Okay, and then if you want to get it back to center, you just hit that button and it'll bring it back to center. Here is your forward and reverse. Right there's forward. Okay, reverse. And then your shift gears. Up six speeds, I think. And then down. This stuff here is for Jeep, other different controls and stuff. I don't, I don't use that. This here twist is to, for the circle. Okay. And then tilt down, tilt up, tilt down, tilt up, side shift, and then, let's see, I think that's it. Yeah. And then, of course, your parking brake. In order to get this thing to run, um, you got to start it and let it sit for a minute, let it go through its functions. And then sometimes you have to move the tires back and forth. I think I forgot to show you that. There's the tires back and forth. And then um, your four-wheel drive is up here, your front. Okay, that's for your front axle. I always just do it uh, on this side. I don't ever use the snail. That way it's engaged with everything else that's going on as far as speed and everything. Here's your rear locking differential. I have it set to auto. I don't need that on anymore. Um... Some other different stuff, but that camera there is expensive, so don't damage it. It's like seven grand. But in order to get going, you push that lever, and then boom, it always starts off in third for whatever reason. So we just go ahead and downshift into first, just like that, and then hit hit the trigger, and boom, there's first gear. And then in the center, back to neutral. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I mean, you need to get used to it and stuff. Here's the rear ripper right here. Up, down. I don't know if you can see that sucker back there or not. Here's your computer status, different things. Generation for the regen thing. Really nice, comfortable cab. I mean, it's nice and cool, nice stereo, nice and quiet. I mean, just, just awesome. So anyhow, we will see you later.